Good people, here's why you should be using grip tape. Slippery mice no more. It can make a tiny mouse feel bigger. It does not add any perceivable weight to your lightweight, precious mouse while giving you significantly Blah, blah, blah. significantly better handling, at least for all the mice that I've used grip tape on. It's either free or affordable, and also the fact that it is optional, unlike the grippy texture built in by default that will disintegrate and fall apart over time. And how else are you supposed to one finger death punch? If you have not tried that game yet, please do. You're welcome. The biggest thing grip tape adds for me is confidence in my mouse grip, especially for mice that have way too smooth of plastic shells. So on a macro zoom level, it might appear to have great texture for skin contact and it might, but things feel very different when you introduce palm sweat and finger oils on the mouse over time. Next time you buy a mouse, check the box to see if skins are included as part of accessories. So most new Razer performance mice, for example, come with grip tape that are cut, as you can see, to fit the mouse shape perfectly, and I recommend you use them. Then we have these mouse-specific grip tape that are kind of pricey to cover the entire mouse or the full body approach. This one is from Glorious for the Model D mouse, and you can get them for different models. I don't particularly recommend this style because of how much left or how much unused tape is left for my play style in particular. Then we have these no-name grip tapes that are mouse specific because they are cut to shape as well. This one is for the Razer Basilisks family and it's only for the front triggers, which is way too expensive for what they are. And then we have my favorite of the bunch, the universal grip tape from Razer that fits all types of devices and therefore actually a lot more useful to experiment with and not feel totally wasteful if you don't cover the entire mouse shell with grip tape. But there are also other uses to this grip tape. For example, you can use it on keycaps on your keyboard if you find the WAS area hard to find. I actually apply them to my USB devices so I know which orientation is the open side of the USB port. And I even stick them on the power button of my PC case so I can turn it on without needing to look and find it every single time, especially with the power buttons that are completely flush against the frame. Just be careful not to buy the industrial grip tape that is going to be way too thick to be used on a mouse or any other peripheral and is very likely not to be pleasant on your fingertips. Be quiet and listen to the effects. Introducing the only way to effects with Be Quiet Pure Base 500 FX, an awesome mid tower made even more special with four Lightwings high speed fans controlled via the hub, so no need to stress the motherboard. The Pure Loop 2 FX is very much an eye candy with ARGB fans and pump illumination, with the Pure Rock 2 FX following in the lighting footsteps to celebrate Be Quiet's 20 year brand anniversary. And if you order now at select partners, you can save $30. Wow, making quiet the noise check out the effects down below. So here are some examples of mice that have gone through grip tape with my usage. The Arachi V2, the tiny egg shape that I always travel with and have strategic uh, grip tape placement on the left click and the back hump and actually a little bit underneath the side triggers as well for a little bit more stability. My Death Adder V3 Pro has the primary triggers covered, so when I lift the mouse, I can actually use the additional grip at the front to not lose track of my fingers. This is awesome. I love my MM720 from Cooler Master, and this one has uh, grip tape on all sides just because the non-glossy model is way too difficult to control otherwise, and the grip tape is actually included with the mouse, which is awesome. Of course, the iconic G305 is here because it's very heavy, in the lightweight terms and definitely needs some grip uh, because without it, it's way too slippery, especially on the sides. And if you're flicking and stuff, you need a little bit more control with this one. So the biggest advantage of these rubberized stickers is that it will require less effort to lift or move the mouse while having more control in the hand. And in some instances, depending on the thickness of the grip tape, it will actually make the mouse feel bigger, which is really beneficial for the really tiny mice like the Arachi V2. You could potentially also stack grip tape on top of one another just to, let's say, elevate the grooves on one of the triggers, for example, or make the side uh, sections a bit wider for your grip style. And yeah, that would also work. Also, you've probably heard of glass skates for mice that significantly improve the glide, but at the cost 
of losing some control because the glide is just way too smooth. And this is where grip tape seriously helps with adding back some of that handling control like on the new X-Lite Mini V2. I think the reason why I love covering the primary triggers is because I use these two fingers to lift the mouse and without grip tape, it's kind of slippery and impossible to lift. So adding grip tape to the front here gives me excellent lifting potential without needing to squeeze the sides of the mouse to get that mouse up in the air. And unlike for mice that have rubber texture built in that will wear over time, grip tape can easily be replaced and actually last for I would say just as long as the default grip tape. And you can see it might not be as pretty as something that has a texture built in by default, but it likely won't peel unless you intentionally go ahead and remove it. And it does not leave any residue. You can simply wipe it off and reapply new skins without any issues. Which brings us to installation and it is super easy for skins that are cut to shape. Try and keep an even distance from the edges so the whole thing will look consistent. But if you do make a mistake, not a problem. You, they can be reapplied a few times, but just keep in mind they will lose their adhesive property if done too many times. But like two or three times uh, until you're like perfectly settled with where they can fit on the mouse is totally fine. <sighs> which is why I love the Razer Universal skin so much because they can be applied on any part of the mouse, especially with this whole kit. It's just really flexible to like suit your grip style, AKA the feeling preferences. Let's say just on the primary triggers, just on the side buttons uh, or on either sides of the mouse or even anywhere else on the back shell. Now, the biggest things to be aware of would be the price since mouse specific shapes are a little bit too expensive, especially if you're not going to utilize all of them, which is why I recommend the Razer Universal skins because they can be applied anywhere and can even be cut to a specific shape. But also the longevity of that grippiness of certain textures might not be forever. For example, the fine grooves on my MM720 are filled with tiny particles and dust that make it more slippery than the plastic material itself. And washing the skin does not really work. That's why it's important to have a uh, larger texture on the grip tape so this doesn't happen. I also realized that grip tape might sound like it might only be beneficial for let's say competitive or pro level players, but trust me, uh, it's also made my editing life easier with my editing mouse and the current trend of constant weight reduction means we'll soon be like playing and holding just the air which is not really ideal. And I know many people who, let's say, love a particular shape of a mouse, but find it either too heavy or too light. And grip tape in both instances really helps with control. I've also done some experimentation of having grip tape only on the right side or only on the left side. And it's very interesting how mouse specific grip tape can benefit. I love having grip tape on the right trigger for, let's say, zoom and having no grip tape for the fire for the left trigger and it gives me that really cool control while in game. So it goes beyond of handling control for the weight itself, but goes into trigger control as well. And if you've used grip tape on your own mice, let me know what your experience has been like. Everything will be listed in the description below. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you in the next video and happy gripping my friends. Mouse gripping, grip tape, cool. <laughs>